It's very beautiful. The, the way the sun is rising, the way the clouds change, the boats, the seal heat of the boats, and as the, the sunshine comes out, how, how the, the, the scenery changes. It's very beautiful. I do love working in the field because every day is special. Today you'll go and the, the sea is rough. Tomorrow you'll go, the seal is calm. To the following day you'll go, fishermen have caught a lot of fish and they, have, they don't know what to do with it. I mean, they, they're waiting for many traders to come. Then there's a day that you will sit and everybody comes back with two fish. So every day is special. So one time I just had the chance to uh, hear that there was a scholarship to Japan to do PhD study. I applied and I got it. My PhD thesis was on the environmental effects of iodothyronine duodenase genes on uh, rabbit fish. So this was basically to understand what environmental factors have, what effects do they have on fish. When I joined Kemfrey, uh, a scientist had done his PhD on uh, rabbit fish 15 years before I joined. So I realized there was a, a gap and we wanted to see is the rabbit fish that was studied 15 years similar to what is uh, on the ground at that particular moment. And also going to the field, samples for rabbit fish are very common because this is one of the most common fish caught by the artisanal fishermen and also eaten by basically everybody at the coast. When I go to the field, there are two activities I'm looking at at the moment. One is just stock assessment of the rabbit fish along the whole coastline, so from Lamu to Vanga. So when I go to the field, I get to measure and weigh each and every uh, rabbit fish that comes in. On the other hand, there's the second activity where we're trying to improve on the gear. So most of the fishermen in the south coast use a, a trap called a basket trap which in the Swahili language is called a malema. We realize that if you take the traditional basket trap and just give it a, a gate or an escape gap, it enables the juveniles or the small fish or the bycatch to, to get away and only the big sized fish are caught. So in, eventually the fishermen will make much more money. Generally in Kenya, there are very few women uh, marine scientists. So it's a small club. Uh, the marine sciences looks like it's um, something very difficult or unsafe. You must love water. You must uh, remove the fear of the unknown, getting into the ocean, you don't know what you're standing on, what is going to bite you the next minute. Also culturally, uh, Marine sciences or sciences need for a woman to be out in the field for long periods of time. So if we take it culturally where you have to be in the house, taking care of your family, of your children, being there at every given moment of your family's life, that can be um, hectic if you're a scientist. Mentorship is very important, very important because in many people's mindsets they just think of the family that once I, I i should get married get uh, beautiful babies and take care of my family and do simple jobs but mentorship helps you understand that it, it's not just the family it's also the work so for someone to have a proper work balance a mentor helps you wade through uh, the murky waters if you're not, uh, you don't know what to do. I happened onto a ward just by fluke. I joined the ward and it's been uh, an eye opener. It's given us the skills uh, to learn how to write proposals, how to write manuscripts. Just the other day I've come back from Uganda to do a leadership and management course. So it shows you how you can reach your potential and how you can do it not by yourself and also with a network of women and men in the, in the scientific field. A ward is a two-year fellowship, and in the first year you have to have a mentor, and this mentor could be someone in your field or just a scientist who you want to borrow or learn some skills from. You had to put in, uh, in writing what you think you want to be. What does it take me to get there? And how long will it take me? And who is 
going to help me get there. So this is the beauty of our word, that it is a structured uh, way of doing things. Your mentor looks at what you have done, your progress, the weaknesses that you have. And in the second year, I have the opportunity of picking up a younger scientist, a younger female scientist, to also share my experiences. So it has a ripple effect. Award also facilitates us to have a road modeling uh, activity. So I will choose to go somewhere to speak to a group of girls, tell them the beauty of being a scientist, the beauty of being a woman, and that it's possible to be done. We also have a, a, a unit where you could either choose to go for a, a research attachment for a long uh, period of time or a short course. So I'll be going to ILRI for seven months. ILRI is the International Ri uh, Livestock Research Institute where they've got all these beautiful labs, state-of-the-art labs. And while there, I'll have my rabbit fish samples and go to a higher stage of now doing genetic analysis, something that is a continuation of my PhD work. Award has also uh, built my confidence. Within uh, Chemfree, I'm a team leader of a Kenya Coastal Development uh, Project. So from award skills, it has helped me to coordinate these teams and also just to, to speak up, to go to the field, speak to the fishermen, uh, write articles. So Award has given me that courage to, to say that it's possible, it can be done. I'd like to be the renowned scientist in rabbit fish and create, a, should I say, a rabbit fish group where we have scientists all the way from South Africa to Japan to anywhere else where rabbit fish is. I'd like to be called upon as an expert, like organizations like the UN, to give input to the younger scientists or to the fishermen. So, yes. <laughs>